You're dead, man. What's up? Oh, fuck. There's a guy I might like. What you do? He's in computers. You know you can walk on water whenever you want. No way. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Hump Day Show. I'm Jerks, and uh, welcoming today is Public Enemy 59. <laughs> you look so weird because you're not. You, now you're like full screen, so like you look gigantic. Thanks. <laughs> but anyways, we're here to talk about Amazon's newest series. It's called Upload, created by Craig Daniels. Uh, I think he was like one of the directors or something, creative directors for The Office as well. And, yeah. and he's working on Space Force. Mm. So, uh, good resume on this <clears throat> guy. Yeah, he's even a part of like King of the Hill. He was a writer on there, Parks and Recreations. He was a writer on there. He was a writer on The Office. That's what it was. And he was a writer on The Simpsons. Yeah, <clears throat> this, this guy uh, hit after hit. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I assume this guy knows what he's doing. And honestly, I went into the show just because like I saw like a commercial on Twitter for it. I was like, Okay, it looks interesting. And oh man, was it interesting. But anyways, let's jump into it. Uh, as Lowe's likes to do, we're going to do some negatives and some positives of this show. Uh, yes, there will be spoilers. If you haven't watched it, it is on Amazon Prime. Uh, and But yeah, you check it out. It's a really good show. But here we go. Go. What is good? Okay. What is bad? Okay, negatives. <laughs> um. The show to me can be corny sometimes. Oh, There's yeah. like some jokes that are just like, okay, that was like. I warned like you about a, the the corniness and the cringiness. <laughs> yeah, but you know it doesn't. It's you know it's not too bad. It's not like majority of the show is that. But then, you know, ever so often, once or twice an episode, you'll get like a little bit of corniness in there, but that's fine. It kind of adds a little bit to the charm in the end of the show. Anyways. Exactly. That's, that's what I thought about it too. Like when I told you, like expect like some cringiness, some corniness, yeah. but, but it kind of like makes up for it later on and like in different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, actually, even before we get into that, I just remembered they don't even know what we're talking about. TLDR about upload upload is about uh, this guy named Nathan Brown. who's was like a, uh, a developer for a program. I forgot what it's called. It's called free something or I don't know, freeware. And yeah, yeah, yeah. and basically in this world, um, you have the option to die, but have your, like your consciousness uploaded. Hence the name of the show to, uh, like a paid server, which is funny. Cause they kind of use like, like, uh, what is it? Panera bread, facebook or something like that like they, they yeah like, they have like weird mergers of these real life companies and like instead of saying in, in like one of the one of the big areas where that people like to upload their consciousness to is called horizon uh you know pun maybe or for verizon uh but anyways like in in this in this world in this virtual world i mean it looks real it feels real apparently and like everybody in this world is pretty much dead quote unquote yeah and like the way they do it it's so funny like they put you in a chair and then they have this big old metal thing on top of you and then when it happens like your head is gone like it like evaporates your head but yeah you, you get uploaded to this like cloud server i don't know but yeah let's yeah, get it into just it blows up your head it's, it's pretty it's pretty gory uh um, <laughs> yeah yeah, I mean, basically the premise, yeah, is uh, that in this world, it exists where you can upload your consciousness to a virtual reality. And, you know, real uh, alive people can visit you They yeah. using VR and uh, Oh, yeah, the, the body suits. <laughs> the sh uh, Those body suits yeah. look like they had like a bunch of little like dildos in there or something. Yeah, it just touches <laughs> you and other people use it and then you oh, go yeah. and turn and there's it there's like and, there's yeah. like a there's like a store where you can rent a suit and then like you see in the background they're cleaning one they go who gets real like nasty and i was like oh yeah that's super <laughs> nice anyways <laughs> no but yeah i mean there's certain parts where it's corny to me some of the acting is meh sometimes um i, I could say for sure the parts where they're where the kid and that dude was dancing i was like 
<sighs> and he was like twerking or something. I was like, yeah. that's a little corny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, and no. then the, the last thing that kind of bothers me is kind of like the, the, the freedom they take sometimes with the story where they're like, mm -hmm. Oh, in order to make this work, we're going to make something really not believable happen to make it work. Like, Wait, where wait, I'm wait, like, okay, what? Get it. Give me an example. Uh, like, for example, uh, one one thing is where the whole <laughs> – we're getting to like uh, – so in the end – Yeah, no, yeah, it's a lot of spoilers. We're like <laughs> – the whole reason they kind of – they have a lot of problems with the relationship simply because of communication. Oh, uh, you're talking and about that. Instances... You're talking about the end game of as, as to why she decided to do what she did to him. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, why? Okay. Like, first of all, he was trying to leave, right? And it was all because she, uh, like, got suspended and they took over her suit and it happened to be. So that was a whole shit in itself. <laughs> and then when she ended up leaving town, was all because he was at 0%. Of gigs, like just little things like that. Wrong, like okay, come on, like, mm. <laughs> like she, of course she knows this guy has a gigabyte limit. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> oh obviously like God. that, but yeah, like uh, things like that where I'm just like, okay, well they're taking a little freedom there, going a little bit on the on the on the edge, but things that are, you know, it's small things. Um, it still doesn't really hinder too much my enjoyment of the show. I was I was in. Yeah, uh, I mean, there wasn't too much I didn't like. Like I told you, like yes, there's parts where it's cringy. Yes, there's parts where it's a little like, uh, but like, um, I I did I did enjoy the show. But I guess other aspects of the show that I didn't like, uh, I think some of the random things that would happen is a little bit too random. Like, mm -hmm. like I don't know if they did that for just like. Like, this is what kind of show we're doing. So, bam, right in your face type of, like, shock value. Like, when when he when he got, like, you know, transported to the virtual world. Or when uh, Nora, the like, his angel for, for, his, for like, you know, whenever, whenever a person gets uploaded to a cloud or whatever, uh, they, uh, depending on the level of, like, payment that they're doing to be there, they get an angel. And yeah. for Horizon, you get an angel and, you know, you're not supposed to know their names, but you know this person's name because their name is Nora. He finds out, blah, blah, blah. They get to know each other. And, you know, pretty obvious what happens between them. But, uh, yeah, like, I didn't like when she was, like, uh, watching a movie in VR. And, like, I was like, okay, cool. There's, they're, like, you know, rotating the camera towards her. And then, like... Like you see in the background, like her roommates getting like having sex. It was like pretty intense. I was like, like really? You really need to do that? That feels a little like anime-ish where it gets really fan service-y. I was like, I was like, I don't think you need to do that, but I get it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. You know, but you know, like I, like you mentioned, it doesn't really affect mm -hmm. my enjoyment of, of the game. Um, I mean, of the game of the, of the show. <laughs> Uh, but let's go on to the positives, you know? So what are some of the things that you really enjoyed about this show? What, what uh, really got you? Honestly, I like the mystery. I like, I like not like fully understanding what was going on until you get towards the end of the show. I like not having like figure it out. Maybe I'm just a dum dum like that. <laughs> but like I did like I did enjoy that. I did enjoy the story, the pig scene. I enjoyed his him him exploring Horizon, this world, this virtual world. Uh, him understanding like what's going on. Him knowing eventually that he can actually take some control in this world because he's a programmer and he's a coder, so he kind of understands like what to do. Uh, I I I like the 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 vibe between uh, the actors, uh, Robbie Hamill, who plays Nathan Brown, which is the main character, and Andy Aloha, if I'm pronouncing her name correctly as well, who plays Nora, his angel. I thought their yeah, chemistry yeah, yeah. was really good. Ingrid, the girlfriend, the one who put him in there, I thought she was really well, uh, like, casted too. I thought she was really well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really great actress for, like, what she's doing, where you're kind of like, she's kind of ditzy, kind of an asshole too, but at the same time, like, like, you sense the genuineness in her in like, in like, you're kind of like 
did she do it to be like a complete dick? Like just threw him into this world for her own selfish reasons, like past like wanting to be with him and like whatever, like maybe it has something to do with the story about him being a coder. Anyways, no, you find out like, yeah, she actually loves him and cares about him. And like, I was like, oh shit. So that, that, that makes it an interesting like triangle right there because you know, eventually him and Nora like have a thing. So I, I really mm-hmm. enjoyed those sections of the of the show. I I enjoyed like the the humor, the talking dog, the kid who who uh him and his other friend and the kid went to like this like uh gray area, this black market, yeah, black market, market yeah. like and they have like their programs hacked. The kid turns into a girl, thinking he was gonna grow up into a man because he died as a child, so he was never gonna grow up. I I I, I like those parts. I thought those were funny. Uh. But yeah, what, what did you like about this show? Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's it, the the show is funny. There were a lot of parts where I laughed out loud, which is yeah. not normal, I guess, uh, <laughs> for a lot of like comedies. I'll sometimes I'll watch a comedy and I won't laugh at all, yeah. even though I like the shows. Um, but whatever, this one I actually thought was genuinely funny at some at parts. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think the the on screen. Uh, like a uh, chemistry between uh, Nora and the main character. Uh, I think it worked very well. Uh, I-, I was very interested in their story, even though I was like, oh, come on, hurry up. Like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, have sex already, but whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, I like it. I'm into it. Uh, the show is funny. Um, I think the, yeah, learning more about the world Every episode was intriguing. How are they doing all this? You, you what know is what, society you know, like? You know what I did like too was the 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 story between Nora and her dad. How she was trying to get him to upload himself to the to the server to Horizon, and she's like trying her best to convince him to do it. But he's more in the line of no, I'm just gonna die the old school way. Yeah. Because yeah, her, yeah, yeah. her mom passed away. Her mom didn't make it to be uploaded. Her grandma. Her grandma. No, her mom. Because he's. Oh, he, for real? His wife. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Her mom. So he wants to be with her in in those terms as in like, you know, she, he's like saying in the show that, you know, your mom's waiting for me in heaven. I want to go there with her. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah, be yeah. in this virtual world. And, and really, like, it also brought up a lot of, like, like questions, too, because, I you know, I was watching this with my girlfriend. I was like, what would you do? Like, would you, like, like take the opportunity to be pretty much alive forever, live forever, or mm-hmm. or call it GGs, you know, <laughs> or just, like, mm-hmm. go away for, for sure? So I thought I thought those that aspect of that storyline was pretty interesting. Uh, I, did, I, I, I did like that part. And also just to kind of like weigh in on the arc of the show is that when, when Nathan died, it was under mysterious circumstances. Uh, you, it, it kind of seemed fishy at first. It kind of like waver away from it, but then you, they bring you back into like what's really going on. And it turns out like he's making uh, uh, a freeware for what like Horizon and these other companies are charging you for because you see like the the the, the difference in diversity between like the people who can afford being in, in like in that fancy ass hotel have like views that you can change at any moment uh like food everything like no limit to that you know they have mm-hmm. like the microtransactions and like you know they can afford it but then they also show you the same aspect in a different way of people who can't afford all that. And like, they show you the basement. I think that's what they were calling it or something else where it was basically like you were saying in the beginning, like he's only available two gigs, you know, and that's, that's two gigs to like move around, to talk, to think like, yeah. It's and that's crazy. And like, that's two gigs only for that month. And like, I thought that was crazy. And I, and like, it's, 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 it's like interesting. It's so much in a way that too, that like, you can actually see that happening in the real world if we ever get to the point where we can upload our consciousness, you know, to the cloud. And I'm like, yeah, these corporations will figure out a way to monetize it for sure. Like, and, and then I see, like, why they would, like, want to take a character like Nathan out of the picture because he's trying to make it for free. So, uh, like... Yeah, but like, then we find out at the end that oh. he was actually screwing over his business partner. Yeah, he had a business partner, his one of his best friends. He was working on this program. And like his business partner and himself, they were trying to like 
uh, sell it to like not a major corporation, but like kind of like in the middle kind of guy who would like do what he's trying to do and like make it for free. But then he gets an offer from his girlfriend's dad who works for Horizon saying, sell it to me. I'll give you a lot of money. You don't need your partner. And he was like, okay. And gave him the code, snuck him the code. So, yeah, I mean, uh, you kind of find out he he was an asshole all along. As throughout the season, you're getting to like the guy more and more. So, it's one of the twists that I kind of like because you were thinking, oh, who who the hell is it that murdered him? Yeah. Because he was murdered. Uh, Mm Mm-hmm. No, self driving cars ain't really all that uh, dependable <laughs> and shit. Uh, but no, man, it's intriguing. Uh, it's only one season. Uh, I- I'm kind of interested on in seeing more. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see more. Season two has just been announced. Uh, let's see. They're saying it will come out. Uh doesn't say all right but anyways it's coming out <laughs> it's coming out it, it ended with yeah. a cl- it, it ended with an, ama- uh, uh, an amazing cliffhanger like i thought yeah. it was really interesting of what happened at the end i yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I guess i'll save that one because it was literally at the end of the of the episode it's 10, e- it's 10 <laughs> episodes is worth watching go check it out on amazon prime upload what would you rate it i would give it a I would give it like a 7.9. 7. 7.9. God damn you. You're Not fucking... exactly an 8, but yeah. it, it's almost there. It's almost there. I'll give it a solid 8. I thought it was really funny, really interesting. Something different, but yet like familiar. Uh, again, this is from the guy who's like written for The Office, King of the Hill, uh, Parks and Recreations, The Simpsons, and now he even has a show coming out on, on Netflix Space Force. Like, like this is really good you know go watch it yeah i recommend it eight out of ten go watch it yep (laughs) all right guys well thank you so much for everybody who's been watching the update show today uh give us your thoughts and comments on this series if you've been watching it uh and as always our main podcast comes out on mondays on youtube.com forward slash three way podcast and it comes out on spotify apple Podcasts, and any other podcasting platforms you can find all thanks to anchor uh what the (laughs) anyways all right guys thank you so much again appreciate it we'll see you next time